So uh, in March of this year, so 2014, uh, we found out that we were going to have to move to Alabama. It was pretty unexpected. We didn't really know that that's where we were going to end up. Found out we were coming to Birmingham, and so I started searching again. I knew, uh, you know, moving to a new city was going to be pretty intimidating. I didn't know anybody. We had no friends here. We didn't really know what we were going to do, and so I decided that, you know, getting plugged in to a good gym somewhere was going to mean a lot. I, I remember my first class. Um, there were some guys that were probably a couple of decades older than I were. Uh, and they were just schooling me the whole time. And so it was, I knew all the movements, but I was terribly out of shape. Um, but yet again, the whole time, like nobody seemed to, to judge me. Nobody seemed to, to be looking at me funny. Uh, everybody was really encouraging. And so that was great. I mean, it, it was a very positive first experience. Um, you know, and then Trey is kind of in the background the whole time, checking in, making sure everything's okay. And then I began to develop relationships with Jessica and Austin uh, and the coaches. I mean, honestly, that, I think that's probably one of the, the main keys uh, to me wanting to, to, you know, having that commitment to come and, and be consistent and be here every day uh, and knowing that Austin's going to ask for my food journal, you know, about every other day. I mean, just, you know, in the seven weeks that I've been working out here, um, you know, I've gotten really close to some of the guys, and, and I told my wife, it, it's an interesting environment um, to where you are so competitive that you want to beat the guy next to you so bad, and at the same time, you want them to win so bad. Uh, and I really feel like that's such a unique thing that Iron Tribe offers, is just this, this community of, of people who come together and, you know, we want to beat each other so bad because we want to be the best. And at the same time, you know, when somebody sets a PR, I mean, that's, that's great for us too. I mean, that's exciting. Uh, so I don't know, it, it's just been an awesome place to, to meet people. And it's the kind of people that I want to hang out with. It's the kind of people that I would want to be associated with. Uh, I've lost 32 pounds. Uh, I went from a size, my, my size 40 pants were fitting very tight. Uh, and now I'm back into my 34 jeans, uh, so my wife's very excited. Uh, it, so it's been great. Uh, I came in, I could not do a strict pull-up. Uh, I've now been able to do those. I can do almost four in a row now. I mean, it's just, you know, little things like that, successes, um, you know, self-confidence, you know, just the discipline, which, which translates into, you know, a bunch of different areas in my life. I mean, I've seen the results and how fast uh, things have changed for me just in the last seven weeks. And so I, you know, I can't help but think, well, it's going to work that way in every other aspect of my life too. I've got to be dedicated. I've got to be consistent. Um, I've got to have coaches. I've got to have people that care. Um, but, but more than anything, it's just, you know, I feel like when I wake up in the morning and I come in here and I work hard, and I go home, I'm a better person when I leave than when I came in. And so to me, the emotional side of that means so much more than just, you know, am I going to be able to squat 400 pounds? Yeah, that's going to be my goal. I'm going to do that one day. But at the same time, if, if I just get to, you know, continue to develop this brotherhood with people um, and work hard and end up being a better person at the end of this, you know, then I count that as a success. I mean, I know it's easy for me to say that, but I just I can't imagine, um, you know, having a routine that didn't involve something to do with Iron Tribe Fitness.